is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and I swear get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, you are welcome to episode number 31 of the 120 Days to Jam Comics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at warehousing factors affecting the location of a warehouse and the types of warehouse. Um, the previous episode and the last two episodes, we established that production is said to be complete if and only if the goods produced get to the final consumers. Now look at this. If this is location of an industry, area where production is taking place, you will agree with me that it is or it will be impossible for these goods to get to consumers all over the area or all over the world. There need to be temporary storage of such products before they are delivered to the final consumers. That is the warehousing function. So, warehousing itself is the process of storing goods in a place until they are needed. Why a warehouse is a structure, a facility where goods are stored for distribution or released when they are needed. And the factors that affect the location or siting of warehouse are the cost of operation. The cost of operating a warehouse will determine the area, the place where you site this warehouse. And transportation or good road network determine where warehouses can be sited. If these are the areas your consumers are located, this is where production is taking place, your warehouse should be in such a place that it will be very easy to distribute to the consumers or very easy to distribute to the wholesalers if you are taking to the wholesalers and most times the wholesalers are in charge of the warehouse function they buy these products from the manufacturers they store in their warehouse and they bear the cost of the warehouse from there they start distributing to retailers or consumers depending on the type or chain of distribution and security affects the location of a warehouse because you dare not build a warehouse in a place that is not secure in a place where thieves will break in and pack all those stuffs and proximity to the market is another factor affecting warehousing location. You need to set a warehouse close to your audience, the retailers, the consumers, so that it is very easy for you to take the products to them. And cost of building a warehouse affects location of warehouse. If you are building in some location, you notice that you don't have all the materials, or the materials for building a warehouse there is more expensive. So you look for a place or a location where you won't spend so much just to build a warehouse. And when it comes to the types of warehouse, we have the ordinary warehouse or the goose warehouse. We have the bonded warehouse. We have the state slash queen's warehouse. And we have the public warehouse. The public warehouse are generally owned 
by private individuals. Now, these individuals can rent out of this warehouse for people to store their products, usually close to airports and all these busy facilities. Meanwhile, state warehouse or queen's warehouse prefer to warehouse where contraband goods are kept. Any good that is treated or contraband, they are being kept in this warehouse. The bonded warehouse are usually owned by the state government or by the government generally. And goods kept here are goods that have not been cleared or goods whose duties have not been paid or goods that the owner has not made certain settlements with the government. So the goods are kept in the bonded warehouse. Meanwhile, the ordinary or goods warehouse is the normal warehouse where goods produced are kept and distributed or kept until they are needed. So this is the normal warehousing definition. Ladies and gentlemen, in summary, warehousing is the process of storing goods in a place until they are needed. This is to ensure that these goods don't get spoiled, and this is to ensure that the goods are stored properly, they are taken care of properly, and they retain their value. And I do hope you found this interesting. Please get the Flash Lemons Jam application immediately after this class. Check your stores or visit flashlemons.com to install the various versions. If you have questions about activations and other things you need to know, feel free to use the support lines displayed on your phone. See you in the next episode.